Hello, welcome back to the woods. Welcome back to a little hammock wild camp. So, as you can see, I'm all set up for a hammock camp in the woods. Now, I've got my rucksack with just enough kit uh, for an overnighter. I've got my food in there, I've got my cooking gear, which I'm keeping it simple, I'm just going with a metal mug. But I am gonna cook a, a, a proper meal up rather than just a boil in the bag. Proper food is so much nicer. So I'm going to cook that up. I've set up, well the hammock is fairly low and the tarp over the top of it is very low and that's because this is also a stealth camp. So I'm keeping flames to a minimum, I'm just cooking out of my metal mug but again I'm going to keep that fairly simple. I've got my bush buddy toggle rope uh, holding on the top which I'm going to use my, as my hitching rail overnight. But I'm also out to test a couple of bits of gear. The first is this little item here. And this is the flex tail gear tiny repel. And this is supposed to keep the bugs away. I hope so, because I haven't brought any insect repellent. I am wearing clothing that has been treated. But I haven't brought a bug net or anything else. I want to see if this works. It also works as your camp lantern and as a power bank. So it's also going to be charging my phone and giving me a bit of light later on once it gets dark. So we'll see how that does. I've also got uh, an item from One Wind Outdoors, which is their top quilt. And from what I've seen of it so far, it's an outstanding bit of kit, but more about that one later on. For now, well, for now, I'm going to crack on and get my dinner ready. So on the menu tonight, noodles. These are the Indomie ones, you can get them in the international supermarkets and they're great, these are vegetable flavour, but as well as the noodles, in there you get your sachets with your vegetable flavour stock. You also get some chilli, you also get a dressing oil. So that's gonna be the carb element. And then, got a bit of fresh vegetables so I've got in my little pot I've got spring onion that goes in right at the end the minimum of cooking but it gives it that nice crispy crunch that good texture and just to make sure it's nice and hot a little fresh chili as well as far as protein goes in here peanuts so I'm going with a oriental type Thai type styly it's nice and simple it's very very quick it's no rest in that and it tastes amazing and as far as kit and equipment for this super super simple I've got one little mini wooden chopping board one wooden spoon I've also got my eating come prep bowl and this is one of those little stainless steel ones you can buy for a pound in the supermarkets. It's a pet food dish, but they're great, way nothing and cheap as chips. And then obviously finally, something to cut it up with, which I've gone for the very, very simple, the one I always carry when I'm out, my little open L garden knife. Stainless steel, so don't have to worry about the blade staining, etc. I can clean it easily. And it's all round, a cracking little knife for food prep. Now the beauty of this dish is it doesn't take very long to do. You saw, I put the water on to boil. There's about 350 mils of water, roughly, in there. And I'm bringing that to the boil. Once it's boiled, in go the noodles. You've then got three minutes to chop up everything else, which shouldn't take me long. So, while that's good to go, I'm gonna get ahead and start cutting up ingredients.
So with those bits thinly sliced, I mean, one of them thin because they don't take a whole lot of cooking. I'm now going to move on to the nuts. Now you'll see these are in a bag. And what I'm going to do is use my chopping board and a stick and I'm going to break them down a bit. So with all the ingredients ready and good to go, I just need to give these a quick stir, see if that water is all going. If it is, then I'm going to get that sachet of stock in there, and I'm good to go. But let's check the noodles. I still need to take up a bit of that liquid. Yeah, so they are pretty much there. So what I'm now going to add is my little sachet on this side of vegetable stock. And I'm also going to add my chilli in there as well. And then with those added, I'm going to add in the fresh vegetables. And then last up is this, which is, it's like a little oil sachet with a dressing in there as well. So I'm going to get that in on top and that just dresses it. You mix it round. And then it's pretty much ready to serve. So I think that is about good to go. So I'm just going to dish up. Once it's dished up, I can add those nuts on the top. So there you go, I'm going to crack on, eat my dinner. Oh, that's really good. <clears throat> it's got one hell of a kick to it too. <clears throat> good job I bought a bit of neck oil to cool my throat down. So the light levels outside are going down. If you're out in the fields, it's probably still quite light, but in under the canopy, it's getting pretty dark. Also, what's happening? is the bugs are starting to come out so i've taken it out <coughs> and i'm gonna switch it on and put it on a fairly low level to start with and to do that all we do is press this little switch here and if i click it twice once twice comes up green that's on its outdoor mode so that's the weaker of the two but it will run for quite a good long time like that i'll put the exact hours that it does for each level in underneath what i'm going to do with this now is we'll hook it up on there on its little clip and we'll see what it does
ta -da. So, I'm in the hammock. Had a good evening. A bit of badger watching. Now I'm tucked up. I'm good to go. So far, bugs on the hull seem to have stayed away. Light levels, well this is the lowest setting. It does go quite a bit higher. Second, third, fourth. It does chuck out quite a bit of light. I've also been using it as a bit of a battery pack. So as I'm gonna to need to recharge my phone up, ready for the morning. We're gonna turn in there. Make good food, good entertaining evening. I'm going to turn in and while I'm turning in this will keep the bugs away and hopefully charge my phone up at the same time anyway right for now So, morning all, lovely night, a nice warm night, and uh, as you saw, a little bit of badger activity. Now, it's just after half past five, and uh, yeah, things are starting to get light, the world's waking up, so I am getting packed away. My little uh, flex tail, tiny repel, it did a fairly good job, but a point to note, it doesn't last very long if you use it as a power bank at the same time. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'll give it a bit more of a try, but it definitely does the insect away. But yeah, more of that later. Anyway, I'm going to get packed away and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So here we go, first cup of tea of the day, all my gear packed away, the woods just starting to wake up, now I'm going to be moving away. Everything here is left exactly as I found it and there's no trace that I was here. If you enjoyed this video, well, give it a thumbs up and give that recipe a try, it's a little corker. If you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel and down below in the comments box you'll find links to instagram facebook pop over there and give me a follow there's also a link over there to my etsy shop pop over there get yourself a green craft patch and show your support for the channel there's a few bit other bits over there including my little puck stoves which are brilliant you saw me use it last night to get my dinner on the go so pop over over there get yourselves one of those and uh, yeah, give that recipe a try. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.